Born in 1947, Tom Martin is a third generation almond grower and eldest son of the late Ross and Rosa Martin. Tom was born and raised on a mixed farm in Wollonga, South Australia, farming almonds and sheep. Tom attended school in Wollonga before attending Prince Alfred College in Adelaide for Year 12. Tom had a passion for engineering but realised he was not suited to academia and opted for a career in farming. In 1965, Tom joined his parents and grandparents farming 100 acres of almonds in addition to the other mixed enterprises. His passion for practical engineering and tinkering was encouraged by his father and remains an ongoing source of satisfaction. Tom married Jan in 1971 and they had three children, Stuart, Andrew and Shelley. In 1978, his parents sold the Wollonga property to enable Tom and Jan to move to Lindsay Point, where they purchased 100 acres and joined his brother Paul, who had established plantings in 1973. Tom's inventive nature has characterised his involvement in almonds from increasing the throughput of the Drury Cracker at the Wollonga farm to developing a monoboom shaker that did 60 kilometres per hour in reverse to the hydraulic foot control of a sweeper head that was later replicated by Flory and included on every sweeper model since to developing a self-propelled sprayer and more recently, a prototype inline analyzer for objectively and efficiently assessing the quality of processed almonds. Tom has been actively involved in the oversight and management of hulling and shelling facilities with Laragon, where he has been a director since 1978 and managing director since 1986. Tom was also a director of the Cooperative Almond Producers Limited from 1977 until 1990 and Arbon Co Australia Limited from 1995 to 1996 and has been a director of Nut Producers Australia since 2002. Tom's experience with Lindsay Point Almonds Proprietary Limited, a private unlisted company of growers and, and investors, provided a model of an enterprise-based almond orchard. This was pivotal to the future expansion of the orchard area in the Riverland. In 1987, Tom and Paul, together with Tony Reid, reviewed the lessons learned from the Lindsay Point development and commenced plans for a major orchard project that developed into Jubilee Almonds, established at Wakery in 1988. Paul went on to become Managing Director with the support of Tom. Following the success of Jubilee Almonds, Tom led the development of Century Orchards at Loxton, where he became Managing Director and, more recently, a Horticultural Director. Planting at Century Orchards began in 1999 and by 2001 the production area was 500 hectares of almonds and 100 hectares of wine grapes. In 1999, after a successful partnership, Tom and Paul separated their business relationship to facilitate family succession, whereupon he purchased a 1,200 hectare property at Murtho. This led to the development of Amiga Orchards, with plantings expanding to 135 hectares and is now owned by Tom's son, Drew. Tom has a strong commitment to bettering the industry for all its participants and has served on many industry bodies. Tom served on the Australian Armoured Improvement Society, which aimed to support the continual improvement and expansion of the industry, largely through the use of improved plant material. Tom remembers this as an exciting period of advancement for the industry. Tom has also served on the Australian Almond Growers Association, the representative body established in 1995 to deal with the broadening issues facing the industry. When the Almond Board of Australia took over from the association, Tom remained an active participant in assisting the industry to move forward and is a member of the ABA's Almond Processing Committee. Tom has also represented the interests of irrigators. He realised the need for a strong and united voice and has been involved with the South Australian Murray Irrigators and more recently as the ABA representative on the National Irrigators Council. This has assisted the development of projects and policies to ensure the efficiency and viability of Australian irrigated agriculture. Tom is approaching his 50th harvest and has greatly contributed to the Australian almond industry. Tom was inducted into the Almond Industry Hall of Fame in October 2014.